What's up guys, it's Woogle here with Woogles Outdoors. Today I got Joey, my little buddy, here with me today. And uh, we're gonna take his, what is it? A Gamo pellet rifle. Yeah, <laughs> he's a little camera shy, but it's a Gamo pellet rifle. I'm a big fan of pellet rifles, any kind of air rifle. I think they're a great tool. You know, I'm all into the unique weaponry for hunting, right? I like a little bit more of a challenge. Pellet rifles are excellent tools. We've done some videos on them before, so maybe he'll cap a scroll with us today. I've got the old blow gun out today because uh, I like to use my blow gun. It's my favorite weapon. So we're going to take a stroll through the woods. We're going to see if we can see any squirrels, rabbits, or anything like that that's in season that we can take down, as well as prepare for a hunt that we might be doing, what, tomorrow morning? And uh, we might go deer hunting tomorrow morning, so we're going to go up here, check out the stand, and see what uh, what we're working with. And uh, go from there. Let's so, uh, have you ever killed anything down here, Joey? Yeah, squirrel. You never killed any deer or anything? No. Uh, well, tomorrow might be our first day for it. I think he said he's got the perfect spot picked out. But generally speaking, it's always better to go, you know, a couple months really in advance before you go hunting and get everything prepared. And over the course of a few months, have trail cams, whatever you got to put out there to get them in, you know, that kind of thing. But. We're gonna try it out. There's a couple dogs following us. I don't really like that. But they won't go home for some reason. I don't want to get a lot of odor going around this area. But we have some things that'll scent the odor or a masket. I don't think we'll have too much of a problem with that. Also, the deer around here are pretty used to dogs. They don't really like humans a whole lot, but dogs they're okay with. Because there's a lot of wild dogs. Okay, so for giving the awful lighting here, the silhouettes, that's Joey up top there with his pellet rifle down here. But um, tomorrow if we go, we're gonna bring either rifles or bows. We're not really sure yet. I'm thinking about either bringing the shotgun with some slug shots or bringing the recurve. And as you guys know, who follow my channel avidly, I'm mostly a primitive hunter. I haven't actually hunted anything with a rifle or a shotgun in several years, so uh, I'd be interested in doing that. I've got the guns. I just, I like to target shoot more than I do hunt with them because I like the, the challenge of primitive weaponry, right? So, uh, interesting fact though, I'm all about using natural resources, right? Uh, building shelters out of lean-to rocks and stuff. So you, minimum amount of effort. Now I could buy a tree stand. I could put it up here pretty easily. One of these big oak trees or something. But what I want to do instead is this big rock behind me. Uh, there's one back there. A uh, pretty good sized field behind me here. It's a little bit of an incline, not a whole lot of space, but there's a, a game trail that walks right in front of this. Now, there's one downfall to it. That's a strong grapevine. Yeah. Some sort of vine. I think it's great. Okay. Over here, I'm a little bit nervous about that uh, because besides this little crappie field through here, it's straight down and dragging a deer out of there is going to suck because it goes all the way down to the river and a missed shot on a deer could i mean they can go for a long ways and you want to make sure everything's humane you want to put them out of their misery so don't ever leave one wounded but that's the trail that the walk up is right through here it goes all the way around down and out that way now, joey you said you saw one where Did he come on around the trail or? No, it wasn't on the trail. It was like just down there. He was crossing. Oh, crossing down through there? And then the dogs came back and just scared me. Ah, uh, yeah. It looked like a spike. We'll have to make sure the uh, dogs don't follow us in the morning. We might lock them up or something before we leave if we can. But I think this would make for a good deer stand. I like I like deer stands because uh, you're up high, you know, and, and they don't really suspect you as much because your odor is going to go over them most of the time. That being said too, I mean, most of the time you're gonna have scent away and all kinds of scent blockers. And Joey made a good point earlier and a big crow flying over us, but Joey made a good point over earlier is that you can take pine needles and, and rub over you and leaves and stuff like that. And uh, it's a good idea to put your hunting clothes maybe in a garbage bag with leaves and a little bit of dirt and stuff to get that earthy smell on them overnight. Wash them and scent away. Just cover your odor as much as possible because I'm telling you, humans stink to these other animals out here. Also, I think I could get a good uh, 20 or 30 yard shot out here pretty easily, especially if I was to bring my recurve up here. I think I would have no problem with that. I'm still not sure if I'm debating on whether to bring the shotgun or the uh, the recurve tomorrow, so we'll find out. 
That's going to be in a different episode, though, so I'm not going to put that in this one. But uh, maybe do a little target practice up here. Have a little fun while we're here. Wiggles outdoors. I'm curious as to how she got up there on that rock. I'm also thinking she's trying to find her way back down now. <laughs> what is that, uh, what'd you build over there? A fort. A fort? <laughs> yeah, that's what I call it. In the bushcraft community, we call that a lean-to, and that's what that is over there. And, uh, I think we should go over there and look at that. Maybe, uh, work on it a little bit if you want to. Let's go. So Joey has got a couple brothers. Uh, the one's not with him today. We were gonna try to get him to come up here, but he didn't. But they built this, and actually I'm kind of proud of them. <clears throat> what they did, they may not realize it, this is prime shelter location. This little rivet in this rock right here, this little outcropping on it, is perfect to build a heat wall, to reflect heat onto those rocks, to help prevent from, uh, to help give you some insulation, some heat, to help to prevent from, uh, what is that term I'm looking for? It's not. Uh, convection that's what I'm looking for okay so what they did is they, they set up a good shelter here with some proper bedding on here I mean it could just be a bunch of leaves three inches you know that's the rule of thumb uh, all these twigs limbs dead stumps all this stuff leaned up against here with some maybe livelier stuff mixed into it interwoven in between then take some of these dead leaves that's all around here throw on top of it you've got yourself a pretty good shelter and um, as far as the fire goes you'd want to have a long fire just watch your surroundings. Make sure you don't want to catch anything else on fire. Hey there, Puffy. What do you think? You like it? Come here. Who wants lovin's? You do. Yeah. Of course you do. You're pretty, ain't you? Oh, and you do now. She did. Yeah. Loki. Hey, big boy. This is the most clumsiest dumb dog ever, but I like him. <laughs> and then I don't know who that one is. That's just a puppy. I think that's, you said that's one of your Her new pup. ones? Oh, this one's pup. Oh, Loki. Yeah, it's about perfect. I mean, it's a little bit big, but like I said, proper insulation. Interwove this in between here. Close it off. Close your gaps so you don't, uh, you got convection and, um, I don't know where my brain's at today, but if you watch my other videos, you'll know that I know what I'm talking about. It's the stuff that hits you when you're in a hammock. What is that called? When the air goes around you? Anyways, so you got convection and, uh, con no, 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 I'm sorry, I was wrong. Forgive me. Conduction is when the earth takes the heat out of you. Convection is when the air around you takes the heat out of you, right? So conduction is in here uh, on the ground. So you want proper insulation, three inches in here, right? convection however is what you would have out here now what they've got set up here you're not going to have much warning or protection from convection hey puppy um but you will have a lot of uh a lot of protection once you put like interwoven limbs and stuff in between there a lot of debris on top of it close it off just make a big enough entrance literally for you to crawl through and then uh maybe in here you can do a fire inside of here if you really want it to as long as you had a way to vent out the smoke and a way not to catch your shelter on fire but Ultimately, it's a pretty good shelter. I like this dog. She is so loving. Hey there, puppy. You love me? And of course, the rest of them come too. Looks like they did a little bit better on this one. I didn't even know this one was over here, but good enough entrance here. Maybe close the top of it down a little bit. It's a lot smaller. It'd be easier to uh, you know heat up and keep the heat in. Only issue is, of course, you know conduction. Um, but you can prevent that. Now there's a lot of rocks on the bottom, so you may not sleep too comfortably, but with enough conduction, you don't have to worry about that as much. Pretty good little place here. Yeah, definitely be a decent little bushcraft shelter. And I thought you guys did one more with, uh, you leaned it up against a tree and tried it, right? 
No, we, these are the only two that we have. Uh, what's this over here then? Because that kind of looks like one. Hang on. We'll go over there. I thought I saw one that looks like they had made earlier, but maybe not. <clears throat> now that I look at it closer, I realize what it is. <sighs> there was a tree up there. And it fell down? Yeah. Well, it fell in a perfect spot. See, see how that's leaning from there to there? If you don't have caves around you. I just stopped hearing out of my right ear. Hang on. That was weird. I completely lost hearing out of my right ear there. I don't know why. We're back, though. We're back in action. We're good to go. So, uh. The way that that fell and landed on that tree right there, if you're not in a, um, a situation to where you don't have these rocky crops and stuff nearby and you're out in a field somewhere, you can always take a, a log. I wouldn't know that I would want to lay one that big up there because I would, anything you lay up there could fall on you, right? So you want to make sure whatever you're laying up there, <clears throat> if it fell on you, it's not going to hurt you. Uh, or so, that is so secure, it's not going to fall. But lay something like that up in between a Y of a tree and then lay a bunch of uh, branches across on the sides and you'll have a lean-to shelter that way, and that's a really good shelter. Is it? Watch out, watch out, watch out. It's not that heavy. Oh. <laughs> yeah, see, I, that's a big that's a big log, and that, I mean, if that fell on you in your sleep, that would suck, and it wasn't really up there too good. But for general purposes, that's enough of a water where you could support something in, maybe lash it to the tree with rope or something, and... uh and then generally just lay debris and stuff up against it and you're good to go. Joey's Joey's had an interest in survival and bushcraft for a while, right? <clears throat> I mean, growing up in an area like this, you generally have to be interested in the woods somehow. You grow up in it. But um, there's a lot more detail that goes into it. So I'm kind of taking him on and trying to teach him what I know <clears throat> and going from there. And that brings me to my next point, guys. I'm actually uh, starting my own survival bushcraft school. Now, <clears throat> for those who stay tuned to my channel a lot, you might be interested in this. I'm going to tell you now it's in the makings and it's going to be a while before it's out there honestly i'm looking at around july or august of next year to do this so i've got a ways to go really um it could be a little bit longer than that i'm not 100 percent because i've got a legalities and stuff i have to pay attention to joey's climbing up on this rock right here and we're gonna get there in just a second but uh i really got to pay attention to where i'm gonna do the classes at what i need to do to lease or purchase land because <clears throat> I know I can't use it on national forest as far as like destroying trees and stuff goes and I'm not really looking to destroy a lot of trees but my issue is uh you know to build lean tos and stuff you can try to use dead stuff but sometimes you're going to have to take lively stuff to survive right so I've got to host classes figure out the size of the class I'm going to do how I'm going to do my you know beginner intermediate advanced classes things like that so again I've got a lot of stuff in the works but just kind of giving you guys a heads up I'm definitely going to be opening up a survival school, and that's going to be one of my first steps into making this my full-time career, uh, because ultimately that's what I want to do with my life, is something in the outdoors, and I want to make this a part of it as well and bring you guys with me. So let's uh, let's implement my love for bushcraft and survival into a way to make a living and do this forever. <laughs> Get you off the ground. Joey, where'd you go? Oh, he is over there. Doing something. Hmm. Hey there. Look at this pretty little thing. She's gorgeous. You're precious, you know that? Love dogs. Don't necessarily like them coming with me when I go in the woods. What is on my face? Is that a flea? Oh no. As you guys know, I'm a big fan of these uh, air rifles. I really like the PCP, like the pneumatic styles, because uh, you don't have to spring load them like that. I think the spring loads will throw the scopes off eventually, so you have to keep resighting it in, but they're still really incredible weapons, and I love them a whole lot. If Loki will get out of my way, I might take a shot off here in just a second once I see what I'm going to shoot. Target shooting, really. Oh, I know what I'm going to shoot. There was something down here earlier. Uh, there's a bottle down there I'm going to try to go for. Alright guys, 
we're gonna walk out of here and unless we see something all the way out that means this video is over so if there's any clips after this one you know what happened i doubt there is though thanks guys for watching though uh definitely stay tuned i've got tons of these vlogs on here where i kind of go out and hit the trail just walk around do some bushcraft scouting hike local trails things like that non-local trails the nine yards you know i also have tons of bushcraft and survival where i go on here and uh do all kinds of lean-to shelters hunting fishing all that good stuff too hope you guys enjoyed it make sure to go down below like subscribe and comment peace out